Hey yo, folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris 2.0 with the Apocalypse DLC. We are the Serene Cat Empire. We've got our neighbors here, the unpronounceable Jaw Bunny at Conclave, uh, who we don't know what we're going to do with them yet, but I'm willing to bet there's going to be some war. Just not quite yet. It's a little early. We're going to go and upgrade uh, these ships here to get some blue lasers on them. Um, and yeah, other than that, we're just trying to claim a little bit of space here to make sure we don't get boxed in. And we're going to try to. Uh, build up all our little space stations and things over here. And our planets are growing slowly. We do have a very poor growth on uh, our citizens here. But uh, they will do what they can for now. How that? Do we want to run any edicts? And actually, I think the answer is very much yes. We have tons of energy. So um, let's run a recycling campaign. So consumer goods are eating how much right now? 10 minus 15. It's only going to give us an extra couple of minerals per month. I'm actually going to go maybe education campaign. Maybe both? And the healthcare. You know what? Actually, let's do this for more growth right now. Okay, it's going to use a lot of our energy, but we've got it to spare. We've met the Epsilon aliens. Let's go ahead and say hello to them. That's over here. So again, we might want to prioritize claiming this and this, rather than working on our inner space here. That is a good system with a fair amount of science. Oh. Oh, I think we, we failed. We failed a, um, complete. a, um, what's the word? Anomaly. Failed an anomaly. Okay, that's good. We've claimed that. It's nice and secure now. Yeah, let's, um, well, I'm here. Let's go ahead and build the mining stations around those things. Because claiming space is good, but just doing it by itself doesn't give us any resources. Dark and we, we aren't pinned in. We don't have to worry about being pinned in. We can always go this way. We've got territory to expand out to. It's not too bad. Science ship over here. It's still a level 3 anomaly, and we only have level 3 dudes. Level 3 over here as well. So yeah, let's, um, let's just keep surveying. And see what we can see. Still hoping for another, um, another... Uh, Savannah planet. I mean, we've got three planets. It's not bad. I'm not complaining. That's actually our limit of directly controlled system. We'd have to start with a sector. Uh, we do get a sector boost to... Tactical retreat. When we finish expansion, that's what it is. I'm like, there's something in here. We get some extra stuff. Tactical retreat from Space Amoebas. 532. We're not that far away from being able to take it. I mean, we could just build a whole bunch of Corvettes. We could wait for upgrades. Um, or we could just chill, because we're actually not in the worst possible situation here. Uh, again, because we can go around it. Oh, there's going to be another natural wormhole there. It's a little weird that it shows me that in the tooltip. I'm willing to bet there's going to be, a, like, and I'm running on a pre-release copy here. I'm willing to bet there's going to be a patch, United Nation of Earth, that um, changes that. So we serve the warlord Gilbert, humans. That's all you need to know about us. We serve Gilbert. And soon, so will you. Especially since you were hostile in, like, first encounter here. Soul Seer. Yeah, this is perfect. These are... We've heard... We've heard rumors in the galaxy that humans make the best belly rubbers. <laughs> so that's... That's... Oh. oh. That's what we have to do. Oh, they've gotten actually expanded to another planet here. Okay. Which is fine, I suppose. Mm-hmm. It'd be fun to go with a lot of vassals, Technology actually. I mean, I don't know if they're going to start, you know, getting all uppity and things, and that would be bad. Charted. Okay, this is interesting. Here's a Corvette build speed tech. That's very nice. It's nice that it's not an upgrade to a starbase anymore. You just get it. Um, engineering facilities would be good. We don't really have very many science labs yet, but would be nice to, you know, upgrade that. Still, unlocking the robots. I do like robots. And does give us, you know, an own pop that can't revolt. For now. I think it's worth investing. You know, get a couple of robots on every planet, something like that, you know? We can upgrade them to droids later so that they can actually settle planets for us and get us a bunch of minerals. And that's pretty strong. So Seoul is actually very well protected. Think about where we have to, they they start in that dead end spot. We have to go all the way through here and then through there to get it. What a great start for the humans, to be honest. Complete. Although, what we could do is we could consider grabbing some of these systems from them and then just vassalizing what's left. I level an anomaly. Let's go for it. It's going to be pretty easy to pull off. we got a construction ship that is idle over here. So you're going to come and claim this system here now that you've gone and done that. And maybe that's what I'll do. I'll like split the job of construction ships. Always keep one improving stuff within our territory and the other one expanding. Might be a good balance, actually. 
to stop me from like overdoing it in any one area. Because grabbing this is nice. It's a nice choke point. Because no one will be able to sneak through here because of my territory. This this system here is not as val- what's, what's the pinging? It, it might have to do with this. No. Oh, were they just made, they were just outstanding alerts, I think, maybe? That, I think that might have been it. Um, micro singularity plus three physics research. That's over here. Okay, that's probably be a good system for us to grab. Especially, it's got a wormhole, so I think that's going to be a uh, fairly high priority. Too bad Beta Aquila is so damn weak. Unless we get a good outcome of this anomaly over here, which is certainly possible. Oh, we do have a level four fella. So we'll wait for him to become idle. Um, so I don't think I need to keep going down, Domination. I do want to get the tech one, really too. Fun. But yeah, we're going to just finish off here. Uh, level 2. Okay, that's fine. Good way to get more experience as well. There's a lot of stuff going on in the Apon system. But I, I don't know like if we're going to rush going down here. Again, I'm going to grab Hemtars. That's for sure. Stars, but Nihal's a little... Eh. Uh, so this guy's level 4. So okay, you can't right-click... On the, on the star system to do the anomaly. You're just commanding. You're not actually doing stuff. Okay, good. That's the right one. All right, you go and do that. Plus six society research. Yeah, we, we're we clearly expanding out this way. This construction ship is idle, and I know I was talking about working on stuff internally and externally, but I kind of just want to go and grab, grab. But we'll build the stations over here. We'll keep the points coming through. It's okay. And you're still working your way over there. Well, it's alright. So yeah, we might want to finish up the Arm Chasers. We might Stars just get up to 20. Control. I'm hoping that we can do some sort of mix of, like, Destroyers and Corvettes to get up to 20. Rather than just 20 Corvettes. But, I don't know. Might be okay. Depends on what techs come up, of course, as always. So we got a thousand energy again. We could go and run another one of those policies, um, the consumer goods recycling one, but meh. We'll leave it for now. If we find some traders somewhere, that'd be nice. Yeah, this is a very rich system for us to expand to. Slave army, slave processing facility. Good. Um, Off-world trading company. Trading hubs plus two. The office is a non-government organ dedicated to improving the conditions of interstellar trade. Do all trading hubs produce plus two energy? This is a building. Oh, and the trading hubs are, I think, a module. So I think you go like, you'd have one star base that has like a trading hub and, or sorry, a, an off-world trading company and then like fill all the module slots with trading hubs because I think you can have multiples. That being said, there's something to be said about an early upgraded lab right away. I mean, a tile blocker was going to be my automatic grab. I and mean, if we're going to do anything, we'll probably grab the engineering lab because we actually are going to get quite a bit of society research just out there. I'm going to grab the tile blocker. It's, it's never a bad choice. So they're blobbing out a little bit over there, but that's okay. Hopefully we can keep pace with everything. There's a happy, yeah, again, lots of influence. We're going to be continuously running those policies. Star system charted. Okay, you're done there. Um, someone's already coming to do that one. Uh, I'm going to get you to do here, because it's next to something we'll clearly be colonizing, so we're going to prioritize things that are nearby. Okar Foundation. We serve the Warlord Gilbert! It's all you need to know about us. Where are you? Oh, you're way over there! And again, we've got this sort of natural blocker over here. Construction. I mean, we could clear it out and then go next to them and get another rival, but we're good now. Um, and we can't rival these guys, because we're not actually neighbors. They've gone and cloned Apon. It was a very rich system. Can't blame them for that. But yeah, I think our priorities lie elsewhere. Clearing the space of me, but we're, very not, we're really not far from that. And we've got enough... You know what? Let's go and reinforce a little more. Uh, automatic exploration is done, which is fine. Mostly it's the survey speed boost I'm more excited about right now. We don't need the physics lab. We don't need assist research. I guess we'll get the uh, the point defense. Now, there's another branch that will give us point defense as well. Point defense is going to be particularly handy if we go in and attack. Like, the ships, they might not be packing missiles because it's very different, the priority. But the, def the static defenses will always have a little bit of missiles. So there's some value there. All right, we've claimed this system. Probably... I should prioritize building research stations here. Oh, again, it'll mostly focus on physics research that we're, we're you know, laughing at right now. But we've got the money to sustain it. Research is good. One of these is probably, yeah, I was going to say it's a split. So it's a three, a three, and a two that split. Sure, fine. 
Yeah, we're gonna get you up to ten. We might want to prioritize clearing that. I don't know what's in the system, obviously. Construction complete. I don't know if we would have known that there's a habitable planet just from having popped in there or not. I'm not sure. What are you? A Savannah World! Only size 11! But you are a Savannah World. Okay, we are going to go ahead and um, expand out then because of the world. What is it? New metal. Oh, living metal! Okay, first of all... Oh, that's, that's in Beta Aquila. So we got tons of extra science. So it's going to be a lot better to grab the system. We've unlocked the living no, metal found. tech, which is good. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. That's very easy. And yeah, we're going to expand out this way. Claim this wormhole system. Not that we have the tech for it, but we're going to claim it right now anyway. And then, yeah, we'll settle there. It's only size 11, but still. Uh, a Vaultum Colony! So we got another special project going on. Um... I guess I'll put you on Auto Explore. Sure. Done. And the speed boost, and we're still running the Map the Stars Edict for even more speed for serving, and the Anomaly Discovery Chance, which is grand. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's uh, prioritize getting the star bases up and claimed. And when this construction ship finishes, construction they'll probably come and... Complete. There you go. Hook that up. Or maybe we'll start on some of the core... Oh, we got more pirates. Okay. Let's say the core systems could give us even more minerals. You know what? No, I am going to go over here. We're going to get that five engineering research because we're hurting on engineering. That's going to be great. Yarn chasers, you're going to have to activate. I don't know where that message was for the pirates, so I missed that. You know, all right. Let's go ahead and bring that up to full 20. Go ahead and queue up a few more Corvettes when you can because I would like to clear this. 532. We should be able to do that with a few more reinforcements. Oh, there's the pirates. Um, we'll head out before they go and blow up everything. And luckily, you're already Space leaving. Under attack. Scientist is now stubborn. Oh. Doesn't sound great. So yeah, you're popping out. I'm going to go there. It's going to be kind of even right now. And the reinforcements aren't really going to reach in time maybe to make the difference. But we don't want them to go and blow up everything. Although I don't really want to lose my experience ships either. Yeah, I don't know. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Weak signal. Some sort of bacon. Mmm, bacon. Oh, we've got things going on here. Hold on. Uh, oh, we can upgrade your central building, which we absolutely want to do. Over here, we, we are out of minerals, so we're going to stop that. Um, and actually, speaking of being out of minerals, our construction ships are now going to be idle. Well, you're going to move to this system and be ready to go. This construction ship is going to move over here, which is what you were supposed to do and you got cancelled because you got scared by some people. Alright, let's do that. Let's hope our ships can take this. We have a slight numerical edge, and some of them are already scratched up from their fighting. I know, we gotta go and save our stations. I'm assuming they blow them up. Yeah, this is a perfect place um, once that upgrade completes for the slave processing center, because planetary administration is being built right now. I think, so it's going to be glorious. Oh, we failed! 5% chance. 5% chance and we failed it. Feels like we're playing XCOM. I know, you're going to feel fail 1 out of 20, but it always feels... Because you, you notice the failures, right? So it always feels like it happens more often than that. Disrupted. Zero G research output violently diminished. Oh, look at that. They blew up that one, which is worth 6. That's so annoying. Star system charted. Alright, construction ship. Okay, we have enough minerals to go and get that started. Which I do want to prioritize for the thing. Zero G We've got a little reinforcement chasing here. Diminished. Oh. Now this has got the name of Think of a System, so it must be one of the traitor things. Oh yeah, we're obliterating these guys! Oh, and we can go and science that. Hold on. Oh, there. Okay, you are going to come over here and check out the debris. The Debris. You guys can just go and repair. And we got some minerals again, so our construction ships can go back to doing that. Um, this guy is complaining that he can't grow without clearing a tile blocker. I do love that info. Um, we're going to go and queue up your slave processing thing, and we will clear... I got the money. I'm going to set up all the tiles to be cleared. So we can't clear anything here. Can't clear anything here. And we're all right on minerals. Okay. 
Yeah, slave processing stuff is gonna be handy. Map the Star's Edict has expired! I don't want that. I want you to keep going. Thank you very much. Because we've got the influence to run it all the time. We don't need information quarantine. The governing ethics attraction we're pretty good on right now. Uh, that's done, which is grand. Um, I'm going to to backtrack over here, and we'll go and uh, work on some Special of that stuff. Project complete. Hello! The artist troop. Artisan troop. Well, construction complete. Do we want to do any deals? Commission art pieces. I think gives us unity and stuff, right? That's very expensive. What else we got? Become a patron, so we give them money. A thousand. Then we get ten years patron of the art, more unity, and they boost their opinion. I, I'm going to go for that. I like the unity. That's going to be okay. I really want to get all the slave processing centers up, so I think I'm going to prioritize that. Although, uh, yeah, go ahead with this. This place is also going to need its central building upgraded first. And that actually might be the priority. Money, a little bit more unity, and makes the higher-end buildings available, as opposed to just the uh, the reconstructed, reassembled ship shelters. Just feels dumb for them to be living in a reconstructed ship shelter, so. Alien Mural Translate Mission. Okay, and we have a ship there. There we go. Research that. And the debris, but we've got someone going to take care of the debris, I think. Alright. So you... Oh, we're going to do the upgrade of the other thing first. Now, you know what? There are a lot of slaves here. I, I don't want the negative slave unrest. So this tile is perfect for the freaking slave processing center. It's exactly the right kind of um, resources. Just feels great. Because otherwise, it's on an Ether Drake. Is that here? Oh, snap. Hopefully the science ship can get out of there in time. Okay, he did. <laughs> um, wow, this pathing. You know what? Just survey here and here. We're going to clear this out so that your pathing is no longer quite as awkward. Okay, you're repairing. Yeah, we, we'll probably need some more ships just to make sure we can overwhelm the space amoeba. Especially since it's one target, it's going to be pretty important to do that correctly. There's our last pick over here. We're going to do we're going to do this, which also gives us more core planets, eh, but gives us an ascension perk. Now, the ascension perk I think I'm kind of excited about um, is the mastery of nature one. It does reduce the cost of clearing blockers, which is, eh, fine. But it gives you the planetary edict of land clearance, which actually gives you extra space on your planets. Now, I mean, things, you know, cheaper, you know, um, starbase influence and claims, more tech, more better. But more people, more better. I like that, you know? Core sectors, I don't care about. Edict duration doubled is actually very nice and efficient. Subject integration. I, I really want to do this mastery of nature thing because it's 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 you know slightly new in a different way. So now we could on any planet run this edict. Now for planets that are already pretty big, you only get one. But for very small ones, you can get up to three in one go. You can only run it once on any planet. But I like that. Special project complete. Ooh, that is a very good project. All right, well, now you can keep surveying this. This is going to be a good system to claim. Um, and I believe there's also special star bases you can build in orbit um, in systems with these... Uh, I, I don't remember what these guys are called. The, uh, on the other territory. Anomaly found. But the, the enclaves and the the traders and all them, they've got they've got a name for these guys. They're, they're non... I don't know. They're city-states. You know what I'm talking about. Um... So you can build, if you've got a star base in their system, you've got a good relationship, you can uh, do some funky stuff. Okay, tile blocker. We don't need the leader pool. The heritage site is still nice. Um, you know, we may be able to grab this now, because we're going to want to build them, and be, you know, we don't want to forget. Fusion reactor makes better ships. Basic combat robots makes better ships. Energy grid gives us a lot more energy. Our economy is still okay right now, though we know it can come crashing down really fast. I'm going to get the basic combat rolls. Trying to make your ships a little smart, smarter along the way. Um, we are going to pay to colonize ASAP. Um, 
And we'll drop you here in this energy node. That's going to be okay. And so we've got just a little bit more left for our construction ships. Let's build that mining station. That's going to be okay. And you're going to, you know what, build a research station here. And yeah, we'll have to go and rebuild this one over here too. Complete. Ancient survey markers plus four minerals. Is that still here? Wow! Anomaly found. Research this anomaly. I mean, I don't know. The, the base production on these things may not have been Star impressive, but it's starting to become impressive now. Construction complete. Construction complete. I'd have to, you know, I'm going to have to do these one at a time here because it's just too expensive. We're going to start with you at the six. Vaultum Observatory. So we're finding a lot of the precursor complete. spots. I don't know if I've ever finished the precursor quest before. So this is kind of nice. And actually, we've got high enough level uh, scientists to be able to pull some of this off. You're going to go over there and you're going to reconnect this stuff. I mean, we're still kind of laughing on physics research, but more research, more better. There's still some, some mining and stuff to do internally, too. And we can go and claim more systems. I'm not worried about racing, although there's probably Star someone down here. Charted. So we got to worry about that a little bit. Complete. Okay, you got some upgrades pending. We're going to do that. And then we'll get you some upgrade. extra ships as well. We, I really want to take out these space amoebas. But I want a fairly overwhelming force, because we're probably going to lose a few corvettes doing it. Especially since they've got to, you know, close in, and it takes a while to do that. Um, I think you can just go and... Wait, did no one do this one? Did I miss it? Because you're right next door. So you do it, because you're right next door. I think, yeah, there's still some uh, level 3 anomalies over here that we're going to do. It's a long trip. Oh, we've got a level 2 waiting in here. Hold on. Halt. Missed you. Yes. Research. Excellent. Thank you very much. Complete. And actually, I think you'll only have... I, I didn't actually look at the screen, because why would I read things? I'm pretty sure we, we should only have a 5% uh, failure risk there. Um, yeah, build all these research stations. That's fine, although we still have some planetary stuff. Oh, a newsletter. Not much has happened. We could donate for some influence. Um, can't afford to donate right now. I do like that you can just unsubscribe. Too much spam. Do not want. Do we get another military tech about to come in? Uh, basic combat roll is still a little far. I'll tell you what, let me go and get a little bit more of that. Although we are having to pay the maintenance on our fleet to do this. I'm going to park you by Beta Aquila so we can jump in there afterwards. Oh, what happened? Warlord Gilbert is out at 62. He did have the um, the substance abuser, so that's not a surprise that he died early. Corvette build cost is discounted. Ah, edict duration. Okay. More duration. Cheaper edict cost. I guess that's fine. We've got a toad asteroid over there. And yeah, we uh, we're probably the next thing we're going to do is upgrade this little central building. But I don't think I'm going to interrupt my construction ships to do it. Claiming this planet, I can be pretty pleased secure. with that. Robotic workers, that's going to be another drain of our uh, minerals to build and then our money to uh, maintain. Speaking of money, it's a little tight here. We don't need to get the coil guns right now because we've got our fancier lasers. The robot modification points are a lot of fun, but I think what we do is just grab the armor. The armor works differently now. It works more like an extra layer of hit points, so it's, you know, semi-similar to, say, shields or hull points or something like that, instead of just reducing incoming damage. Uh, we are not going to upgrade you, because we actually need... It's 350. I thought it was 300 for some reason. Complete. There you go. Upgrade that. So losing some money, that will help a bit. Um, construction ships, we might actually want to prioritize some of the like energy boosting spots Anomaly found. like that five percent risk oh life signs yeah uh this size i think has a chance of giving us a society research which is swell <laughs> investigate giant skeleton let's do it we've got the skill for it boom society research over here we need the uh, the pro energy tech is what we need. Style is still a little awkward. It's not a particularly rich planet, but it does have a couple of energy things. We might end up building a bunch of the energy buildings on this. That might be the way to go. Colonization. 
progress. I think that's probably an okay idea. We're gonna do that. We've actually got Star an unemployed chap parted. over here. Why would you go there instead of say here? That being said, we could build this. I mean, it's costing us money, but it's pretty valuable. Let's do that. We're breaking even right now. It's fine. We get the yard chasers. They're all put together. Okay, go over here. Try to take out that amoeba. Construction ship. Um, move to there and be ready to take advantage of that energy. And yet yeah, you can you can wait here. Well, you know what? Go ahead and do this. We're still getting a fair number of minerals per tick. Maybe not as much Special as we'd like, but it's okay. Complete. Special project completed. Is that the giant skeleton? It is. Oh, that is nice. You can go and auto explore. That was over here. Really nice. Tunnels network. Oh yeah, you've got enough to start doing the precursor stuff. I guess that's fine. I guess that's okay. Hostile fleet. Oh yeah, that's intentional. Oh, that is so fast on fastest, isn't it? There we go. So it looks like we're doing pretty well here with not much in the way of losses. We are losing... Well, I don't know if we've lost actual Corvettes. Some of the numbers are going down, but it could be something else. The other thing they do is when things are damaged, they will try to pull out and back from combat now. Which is a nice little... Um, hold on. Oh, no, no. I was getting confused about who I was because this number was above the uh, the Amoeba for a second. I was like, oh my god, it's got so many more hit points than I do. Construction complete. Excellent. Dissected. Amoeba Extirpiter modifier added. 20% more damage to space amoebas. Sure, that's fine. Yeah, normally, you know, leave the amoebas alone, but that's okay. Why don't you actually... I'm going to get you to come over here, and you'll be doing some mining stations for us. Minerals and money, for now. We'll go back to the science soon. Heritage site available. There's the off-world trading. Uh, the growth speed does lead to more genetic stuff as well. Let's do it. But yeah, we might... We are going to need to build our, our station soon. New contact. We serve the warlord, Lucius Flaminius. I know that's not the right way to say it. It's Construction fine. complete. Hmm. Construction complete. Bunch of non-aggression packs, border changes... What we need is the um, the boost to the mining setup. Well, we can get a little bit more minerals by building the uh, the slave processing center on Bickle Prime, which will Star help a little bit. Charted. You can go ahead and research that. But yeah, more minerals, more energy. I think we're going to prioritize our construction ships um, on stuff like that. Yeah. Minerals first might be better, but we, we do need the energy as well. Last thing we want to do is run a deficit, and that ruins everything. Everything goes bad very quickly. Plus five minerals. Technology secure. Is that over here? I think so. Wow. Excellent. And you've got your combat role, so we can actually upgrade you. Um, I'm going to grab the plus one research alternatives. I'm a big fan of that. I mean, shields are obviously going to be good for our ships, but this gives us a lot more ability to find some of the rare attacks um, and to just more successfully navigate the um, the tree of things. Um, we've got some debris over here. You're you're going there to explore it, which is good. You get you to research the projects and then survey. It's right on our, our borders, so hopefully it's going to be a really good one. So the arm chasers, yeah, you can go and get upgraded. You'll get your uh, your basic combat rolls added in. Vessels upgrade. Campaigns ended. Uh, we probably want to run this recycling campaign now. That's a lot more minerals. Because the consumer goods are really adding up. And I'd love to run the other campaigns as well, but we'll have to wait for a bit more money. But the minerals, I think, are going to be really handy. Yarn chasers are upgraded. I don't think we've got another target we can go for right now. Certainly not the Ether Drake. So, at least parked around the planet, you actually uh, spend less maintenance over there. Um, right. We can't afford to donate right now. Special project. I should probably just disconnect from that because I actually don't need um, influence. I've got too much influence. We got an artifact. We got some society research, science ship over here. Um, I guess we'll research these projects before you know our our um, scientists die because they you know from old age and whatnot. Go ahead and build some. Oh, someone's already there. there go halt. Build mining stations out here. Thanks. Actually, someone's going here, but we'll get you to go and do this in a second. 
We're gonna end up with a little bit more money than other things, but that's okay. We've got upgrades. We've got lots of things internally here. People working tiles that don't have buildings like this. Um, that's probably a fine place to build. Oh, you already have the slave thing over here. Okay. So do we need another farm? It's really not the priority. With the money, I'm going to clear these. I know they're like blank slots, but I'm still going to do it right now. Okay, probably shouldn't overspend. And yeah, this is a place that doesn't have a slave processing center yet, so we'll do that. Analyze some debris. Okay, that's good. All right, well, I think we'll put a cut in here. I, mean, I don't know exactly how we're faring. Equivalent everywhere. Okay, that's fine. I think I'm still happy with developing my core infrastructure. These guys haven't started making claims on my territory yet, so they're probably not jumping in on me. So we might not worry about building defenses. Disengagement chant reduction. FTL jump cooldown. Really? I didn't realize the combat would be different in a black hole. Huh. Has that always been there or is that new? I bet you it's just new, but I don't know. Uh, or I bet you it's been there forever, but it's new to me. So science has gone up a little bit, although population is also rising, so that's, you know, going to be part of it. Uh, Ginium Prime over here. You're working on an unimproved tile, which... All right, you can get a farm. I mean, the thing is, our um, our growth rate is so poor that getting the bonuses from excess food is going to help counter that a lot. <clears throat> well, they've really expanded. They've got their four planets going on. they got six actual planets with soul. Maybe I'm falling behind here, but I mean... I just, there's literally no other planets for me to colonize. So, yeah, move towards war. Well, I think what we do is we continue to, to we, we just make the planets we've got as awesome as possible. And that's fair. Okay, thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you guys next time.